Plaid provides you with a single set of endpoints that help you build powerful financial services. Whether it's talking to identity verification sources around the world, retrieving income information from payroll providers, or connecting to thousands and thousands of banks on behalf of your users, Plaid will let you query and receive data in a consistent manner. So you can use Plaid for everything from account verification to approving customers for lines of credit to building some pretty great personal finance apps. You can get started with Plaid by signing up for an account on the Plaid dashboard. There you'll have access to up to three different environments. The sandbox environment deals completely with fake data and is the best option to use when you're first starting out. Development gives you access to real data at real banks, but for a limited number of accounts. It's best to use this with a handful of trusted testers. And production gives you unlimited access to real data, but you'll be billed for your usage. You may not have access to this right away. To talk to the Plaid API, you'll be making calls from your application server. Nearly every call you make will include your client ID and secret, so we know it's really you. You can get this information from the Plaid dashboard, and the Plaid SDKs can simplify this process for you by including this data with every call you make. On the client, your user will do the work of signing into their bank, selecting what accounts to share with you, and giving Plaid permission to access their data. This is done through a UI widget called Link that handles all the heavy lifting for you. So the general process for connecting to most Plaid products looks like this. When your user is ready to connect your app to their bank, your server will talk to Plaid to generate a Link token. You'll do this by sending a call to the Link Token Create endpoint and passing in some information about how you'd like to configure Link, such as what products you want to require, what language to use, and often some product-specific information. What you'll get back is a Link Token. Send that token up to your client. From there, you can use Plaid's client-side library to initialize Link. You'll pass in the Link Token, along with some methods to call when the user successfully completes Link or exits out early. Once you've done that, you can open up Link to start the connection process. At this point, your user will sign into their bank, select what accounts they want to share with you, and possibly perform other setup steps depending on the products you're using. When your user is done connecting to their bank, you'll get back a public token. This is a short-lived, single-use token that has only one purpose, and that's for your client to send it down to your server, where you can then exchange it for an access token. You'll do this on the server by making a call to Item Public Token Exchange. Send over the public token from your client, and you'll get back a persistent access token. Save this access token on your server. You'll use this whenever you need to request data from this financial institution on behalf of this specific user. At this point, you can use the access token to start making calls against the Plaid API. This might include the auth endpoint to retrieve the user's routing and account numbers, the transactions endpoint to get a list of recent or historical transactions for this account, asset reports to help you with loan underwriting or decisioning, or one of the many other products Plaid supports. Plaid can also send you webhooks so we can proactively let you know about important updates, like if there's a problem with an account or if more data is available for you to fetch. And be sure to visit the Plaid dashboard where you can get information like your application's overall usage, the status of specific bank connections, or reports on individual API calls to help you with debugging and support cases. This has been Getting Started with Plaid in 3 minutes. If you want to know more about developing with Plaid, check out our full-length tutorial that shows you how to get started with a working sample application. Visit our YouTube channel for more videos like this one, and be sure to visit our documentation for more details about all the Plaid products. Happy coding!